Our emergency fund is generated from our budget. Every category we have in our budget, and they the categories are the housing, transportation, insurance, pets, food, personal care, savings or investment, gift and donations, legal. Out of all these, we get the total from each group and we recreate our emergency fund. And I have one here as an example that I'll load up for you. But essentially, the emergency fund is three to six months of your total household expenses. Three to six months. Now, why do we need an emergency fund? Just for that, for an emergency. Your car breaks down, you gotta get a new car, your kids you get sick. Anything that can come up, you have a death in the family, you gotta travel across country or to another country, uh, you have the necessary funds to do these things. Do not sit back and think it's all gonna be great because sometimes things don't go the way you think they're gonna go. And there's a story, uh, my brother had a stroke back in November and my cousin was talking to him in the hospital. And he's like, well, I never expected to get sick. And that's the way we all think. This is not gonna happen to me. And from my life experience and the uh, troubles I had after surgery, my eyes were open. Uh, and if you didn't know, I had hip replacement surgery. They cut an artery. I bled for five, five and a half hours. I had a stroke. I woke up blind. And now I'm able to see a little better. I still have blind spots. But if I didn't have money saved up and money coming in, passive income coming in, and we'll talk about that later, I would have been really stressed because I couldn't take care of my family. And I thank God every day for giving me wisdom to have that money stored away, have that money coming in that I didn't have to work for so that we could sustain our lifestyle. So that's just food for thought. You never know when you're gonna get sick and when you do, you need to be prepared. You need to have insurance and you also need to have an emergency fund to cover all your bills. An emergency fund is also uh, great if you're ready to switch jobs or if things aren't going well at this job and you're ready for a change. You know, it, you can literally walk away from a job and you can, you'll be able to sustain your lifestyle for three to six months, whichever one you decide to do. So just keep that in mind. It gives you tremendous flexibility, uh, the, flex, the, the ability to make decisions that's right for you and your family versus working a job that you know is keeping you stressed and you're bringing stress home to your family. So the emergency fund, the first category is the housing. And the fictitious number that I added to the budget, and you'll see this when you get it, you know, the total cost for housing was $1,050. So if it's the three months, that would be $3,150 you need saved up. Six months, $9,450. The next category was transportation. The total there was $630 a month. If we wanted to do a three months, it'd be 1,890. For six months, be 5,670. Insurance, the total there was $520. For three months, be 1,560. For six months, be $4,680. Next category was food, which came out to $800 per month. For three months, you need 2,400. For six months, you need 7,200. And then the pet category, which came out to $130 a month. It's $390 to 
you want to do three months, excuse me, $2,400 for three months. No, I'm sorry, $390 for three months, $1,170 for six months. Personal care came out to $400 per month, $1,200 for three months, $3,600 for six months. Entertainment was $90 for three month, for a month, $270 for three months, $810 for six months. The loans and credit cards, $425 per month, $1,275 for three months, $3,820 for six months. We had your children, $690 per month, $2,070 for six months, $6,210 for six months. Retirement account, we wanted to uh, make sure that we could contribute $100 a month. That's $300 for three months and $600 and $900 for six months. In donations, we didn't have anything listed in that category. In legal, we didn't have anything listed. So the grand total for your monthly expenses was $4,835. If you wanted to have an emergency fund for three months, you would have to have $14,505 saved up waiting for the emergency to happen. If you wanted to have an emergency fund for six months, you'd have to have $43,000, $515 for that. So that's quite a significant amount. And, it, but it's just vitally important that you have security for your family. If an emergency were to happen and you're not prepared, that is when a crisis will happen in your life and in, the fa in your family's life. You know, there's way too many people who don't have insurance, who are not covered, accident happens, now they have this $50,000 hospital bill in which they can't pay. At that point, your financial life is ruined until you're able to figure that out or pay it. You know, so it's so important that you look at your family and look at what you're doing and you figure out where can I cut costs where can I, how can I make more money so that our financial abilities will be better? Uh, and one of the things I often discuss is if you're not making enough money, then what are you going to do about it? We have gotten very complacent and I feel that you have to step up and take on that challenge of how to create more value in yourself to make more money. Um, it, it's just a necessity. You can go to night school, you can go to trade school. There are several different options, but we can no longer afford to sit idle and do nothing when our family's in a catastrophic situation. Please, please, please make yourself more valuable so that you and your family will be prosperous in the end. So this about wraps it up. Hopefully this has been beneficial for you. Uh, as I stated, uh, the material will be there waiting for you when you watch the video. Uh, but I just want to reemphasize to all of you that if you don't, plan for retirement now if you don't plan to be prosperous later so that you can live a happy uh, golden years 
then that's on you. It's not on the government. It's not on your friend. That's on you. You have to make the decision. You have to become conscious and you have to stick with it. Persevere through the tough times. And change is tough. But this is one area in which you have to change because if you don't change and you continue on the same trajectory that you're on now, the same one that your family has been on, that you're just copying and taking it in, into your life, you will reap the same benefits that your family is reaping at this point. And be honest with yourself, you can do more, you can be more, you can have more, you just gotta have that perseverance and you gotta have that vision in your life to wanna go forward. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.